guys welcome to our channel a foreigner and filipina in philippines so we are here in our property so our people already start doing the our fencing project here in the property and they already pour the column for the gate and also they started putting the cyclone wire and the interlink so this is our gate from there to here so we put the two columns already but the columns need to put up higher more because this is a bit shorter so we put it around column because we are just using the the plain corrugated sheets the which is much easier for them to use and it don't take a lot of time for them to do the framing they just take it out and then make it round so like this one they just make the under the soil like that <clears throat> below there is a matting in there it is deep 90 centimeters deep and this will be the height of this gate will be seven feet high and then yeah so our people here yesterday they put the rebar columns in this line and now today they are putting the interlinks this part this one that we bought last time and somewhere in Ubay yeah we're using interlink to do the fencing today there are four workers here and we have her Dado, GC and Randy and Lidon is over there so they are now Putting from there, going down here, the interlink, the cyclone wire as a fencing. So they just connect it. So let's see what they're doing. Yeah, so from there, down below, they put the rebar, the 9mm rebar to hold in place the the interlink and then we pour concrete down there to hold all the interlink wire then on the top we on the top we have her the gonna put a barbed wire for so much safer for us for security purposes because you don't know what will happen and here they are guys they are now putting it in place so they gonna tie it with the tie wire on the top there so mas dali siya ibutang nino ang makaduga lang pag kub kub pag puste ano kaya kinahanglan na siya pa barugon Mm. So it takes time when they do the digging of the soil, the land, so that they can pour. What they're gonna do is that they're gonna pour concrete in there inside that part. And. Yeah. What takes time to do is that the digging, uh, the digging of the soil and putting all the columns, the rebar columns, in it's each not because. It's going to be concrete, right? You're going to put some dirt and then concrete again or something. Concrete na padong babon ino. All concrete. Hmm. Because that one will be get rusted when. And then after this one, we're gonna add the metal, the interlink, the rebar with rascon, anti rust, the red lab. We're gonna paint it. So we have her GC, so this is GC, guys. If you're looking for him, <laughs> and that is my dad over there. So what And then Randy is over there holding. Every meter and a half, a 20 mil millimeter rebar yeah. in between the 16. In between 16 mm. And 16 on the top. 
and yeah. the 9 and the... Ah, okay guys, so that is 16 mm rebar and also the middle is 16. So, every 3 meters is 20 mm, 20 millimeter of rebar and in the middle is the 16 mm and on the top, they put a... Uh, 16 mm also and down below is the 9 mm so good thing now that they started putting in the fencing in this area I know that's a lot it's a big area to put all the way all around the area with the 10,000 square meter we do all around like this fencing but over there nearby the pan we're gonna file Mga pila ka blocks ka no yung mga upat. Sito, so, depende no. Yeah. Over there we're gonna use some hollow blocks and also the interlink on the top. And then barbed wire the last the very top end is the barbed wire. Because we have a dog and we don't want him to get out in the property. Especially if he doesn't know the person. <laughs> yeah, and now they are. Trying to look at this, guys. Okay, they are trying to put in the 9mm rebar to the interlink. <laughs> So, Naidado now is leveling the line on the top with the use of the nylon so that it will be straight, not like a zigzo. <laughs> so, after they gonna put in the interlinks on this area, they gonna pour concrete down below as you can see the hole over there. While they're mixing on that part, that the frame that Nidado make last time, where they gonna mix the concrete over there. So yes, guys. So that's for today that they have done here in the property. There, we started already on our fencing project here. Yeah, because the whole property we gonna fence all over and if we're using concrete it costs us a lot of money so we keep on thinking on the pricing and we have decided and come out with this one that we gonna use the interlink or the cyclone wire okay guys please like comment share and subscribe our channel god bless